commercial real estate. Here's one Elliott Wave signal. I'm Bob Stokes with Elliott Wave International. Skyscrapers, elevators with smartly dressed people zooming to the upteenth floor to take their places in smartly appointed offices. All that glitz of commercial real estate generally comes with a very high price tag. However, after the pandemic-induced crash and the swift post-pandemic recovery, there are indications that those price tags are again headed for markdowns. For one thing, the work-at-home trend, which kicked off in a big way during the pandemic, has not done commercial property developers and investors any favors. This is a conclusion from a joint study by Columbia University and New York University. Remote work will cut 28% are $456 billion from the value of offices across the U.S. Bloomberg says about 10% of that will be in New York City. It would not be surprising if commercial property values tumbled even further than the joint study projects, as a years-long Elliott Wave pattern indeed suggests. Here's a chart and commentary from our October Elliott Wave financial forecast. The Green Street Commercial Property Price Index peaked in May and declined in each of the last four months, as shown on this chart. The five-wave form of the rise from 1998 suggests a larger and longer decline, as do new work workplace arrangements. Long-term problems for cities everywhere are likely, as most cities plan to deal with the excess by converting office space to residential housing. And speaking of residential real estate, these headlines give you a good idea of what's going on. U.S. housing market in free fall as builder confidence suffers disastrous drop. U.S. housing market to see the second biggest home price decline since the Great Depression. Home prices decelerating by record amount. Also, home purchase cancellations have jumped in the past few months. Keep in mind this quote from Robert Prechter's Last Chance to Conquer the Crash. The next wave down in real estate prices will be even deeper and more prolonged than that of 2006 to 2012. Get our detailed forecast for major U.S. financial markets as well as the economy by following the link below this video.